This is a 70-year-old intern. On the first day of taking office, colleagues took it out from their pocket. Are all electronic devices, headsets and smartphones. Look at him, he opened his old briefcase. Take out two ballpoint pens, a calculator and a pair of glasses. Even the phone is an old Samsung. Besides, he doesn't even know how to use a computer, he can't do anything. The female director really hated it, so she sent him to another department. But they don't know that this 70-year-old intern, actually a senior boss, full of experience. His name is Ben, used to be the vice president of a listed company for more than 20 years. After retiring, he traveled around the world. Do tai chi at the park, play golf, read books, watch movies. Day by day company with old friends. He even taught himself Chinese. Translation, believe me I've tried everything. Until three years ago, when his wife passed away, he felt an unprecedented loneliness and emptiness. To fill the void, he went to a coffee shop to find a soulmate. But a 70-year-old man completely fails to keep up with the youth trend. Until one day, when he was going to the market, he saw a job application form. An internet company is looking for an elderly intern. Ben's eyes light up. That's right, if it's too boring, he can go to work. Anyway, he's been a CEO for more than 20 years. That night, Ben filmed a job application video and got an interview. In the interview, he thanks to his rich experience. Stand out among competitors. And successfully won the position of assistant director. But the female director did not respect him. The female director's name is Anna, she's both beautiful and cool. In just a few months, the company has grown from zero to more than 200 people. Of course, the price to pay is to sacrifice personal time. She is very dedicated to her work, every day is so busy that her feet do not touch the ground. It's true that her feet don't touch the ground, to save time, she cycled through the office. Such a workaholic female powerhouse. How can she stand a 70-year-old man who is slow and curt? On the first day of work, Jules wanted to transfer Ben to another position. But he was still very persistent, just wanted to be an assistant director. Colleagues also said that he has many years of experience and can take on this position. No way, Jules only had to accept him in this position. If you can't poke fun, then slowly teach him. The first week Ben took office, he set an alarm every morning. Arrive at the company on time, work overtime with the boss in the evening. But it's not okay to continue like this. So he decided to take the initiative to launch a sortie. The first is to help the interior department deliver the goods. Then help customer service to solve the problem. Also find inspiration with the design department. Thanks to his rich work experience and personal charm. In just a short time, Ben has won the hearts of many colleagues. Colleagues lost love, he immediately taught him how to comfort his daughter. Colleagues were kicked out by the landlord, he was also kind enough to accept. He is like a traditional gentleman, polite, enthusiastic. But still keep a comfortable distance from colleagues. That morning, Ben arrived at the company one hour earlier. Don cleaned up all the things that the boss threw around on the table. And this action of yours also attracts the attention of the boss. Brilliant! Thank you! Very quickly, the 70-year-old intern received his first assignment. That's the boss's laundry. But he was just out the door when he saw Jules crying. Turns out, the company grew too fast. Jules alone can't manage it all, so the board is looking for another CEO. To manage the company with Jules. Your boss suddenly cries right in front of you. What to do? Let's see what seasoned interns will do. Excuse me. I apologize. At first he gently interrupted and apologized, pretending to have just walked in the door. Then he said he came to get clothes. Anyway, the work needs to be done. By the time he walked out the door, his colleagues asked him for intelligence. Ben just laughed and said he was hard of hearing, couldn't hear well. He did not want to announce this to the public, but quietly kept it in his heart. Very quickly, the second task has also come, that is to be a driver. As it turned out, Ben accidentally discovered that. The boss's personal driver is secretly drinking. How can that be? He first expressed his identity, saying that he was the assistant director. And I've seen what you do. Sure enough, the driver panicked. Then, Ben made an offer, giving the driver a day off. He will replace the driver to do his job. If not, let me tell the boss. Indeed, the older the ginger, the spicier it gets. Not only does it eliminate the risk of unsafe, but it also keeps the driver's job. The driver will not be fined too much. Just like that, Ben became Jules' driver. At first, she didn't agree. But along the way, Ben was always quiet and reliable. Also gave her a bowl of hot chicken soup. Oh my god, that smells so good. When they were about to leave, the relationship between the two was also drawn closer. Thank you for bringing me home. Thank you also for buying chicken soup for me. No need to be polite. The next day, at 5.30 am, Ben was woken up by the phone ringing. It turned out that the previous driver had resigned because of guilt, so he came to take over the driver's job. The 70-year-old man who was woken up was not angry. On the contrary, he happily agreed. He prepared a little and quickly went to his boss's house. The boss's house is a little different. Jules goes out to work to earn money, and her husband will stay at home to do housework. Washing dishes, washing clothes, taking care of my daughter. 
Ben meticulously observed that Jules' work was too busy, basically no time to take care of the family. Even so, her husband only smiled slightly. While in the car, he was about to remind Jules of this, but Jules just felt that he was being too observant. So she feels very uncomfortable. So she emailed her partner and sent Ben to another department. But very quickly Jules had to regret it. Ninth to Hamilton to the expressway? Uh, I think we should take fourth to Flatbush much faster. I apologize. Since Ben was very familiar with the roads here, he just wanted to save Jules' time. That night, seeing him still working overtime with me, Jules intentionally passed by, actively looking for him to chat. Only now did she know that this place used to be the old location of Ben's company. He has been working here for 40 years. No wonder he's so familiar with this area. After chatting for a while, Jules respected Ben even more. Admire his attitude of living to the fullest, enthusiasm in work, and also respect his courage to be an intern. On the way home, Jules fell asleep in the car for the first time. It seems that Ben gave her a high sense of security. The next morning, Jules was very excited to get in the car. Then she found out that the driver had changed into an old woman. What happened to Ben? This old lady must be a reckless driver. Oh, Jules immediately felt broken. Turns out, Jules forgot to revoke yesterday's personnel change application. Ben has been transferred to another department. This time it's good, because of this wrong decision she almost had to make up for it with her life. No way, she can only find Ben to apologize. And invite him back to work for her. Ko I thank Chuck Cho Ong. Ben is also very willing to accept her invitation. Right after that, his desk was moved to the assistant's side. This made the assistant feel frustrated. She works 14 hours a day without rest. Under so much pressure, yet not being taken seriously. And now, her position has been easily replaced by Ben. Ben can only comfort the assistant and silently keep this in mind. What does it feel like to have a seasoned assistant? Jules immediately expressed, too good. At work, thanks to 40 years of working experience along with 20 years as a director, Ben saw that the company's biggest problem was operating the product. He analyzed for a long time and came up with a detailed plan to solve this problem. Jules really admires him. The man spent 40 years in business. Yeah, no, I get it. At the same time, Ben also did not forget the little assistant, saying that she also contributed. Because of this statement of his, Jules also began to appreciate the assistant. In life, Ben is not only a driver. He also helps Jules take care of his daughter. Not only that, he can also solve Jules' trouble at the key moment. That day, Jules was going to send a text message to her husband about her mother-in-law. Unexpectedly, she sent it to her mother-in-law by mistake. Mother-in-law has heart disease, this message will make her angry. What should I do? At a critical moment, Ben led some interns to break into his mother-in-law's house. Then take the phone and delete the incoming mail, the problem will be solved now. Unfortunately, when they went out the door, they hit the alarm bell. The police car immediately chased. Just run! Jason! Open the door! Whoa! Whoa! Okay! Gradually, Ben with rich life experience became Jules' mentor. When she was sad and drunk, he was like a father, a solid support for her to rely on. That day, Ben discovered that Jules' marriage was in jeopardy. Dot. He pondered all night whether he should tell this to Anna. But seeing Anna so busy, he didn't want to cause more trouble for her. Dot. Until Anna took him to interview the new CEO. Tren Mei Bei, Anna Thay on Ko Ve Kong Dung Lam. So she asked him directly what happened. Ben hesitated for a long time, still deciding to tell Anna a joke to let her relax. At least before this conference, she couldn't lose focus. Unexpectedly that night, Anna came to confide in him. It turned out that she soon separated from her husband. She put all her time and enthusiasm into her work, for the company to grow more and more. But she forgot her family and marriage. She took her daughter to the nursery. But just always pay attention to the words of other mothers. They say she is not responsible. She wants her husband to go to work with her. At this time, she found out that the kindergarten was about to open a parent meeting. The talented female director in the office is not successful in her life. Jules hugged her face and cried. She didn't want to live a lonely life until old age. That's why she took the initiative to look for a new CEO. One person can manage her treasured company, sharing the burden of work. Because she doesn't want to lose her family. Turns out, she had already sorted everything out. Ben saw that she made the right decision. So he wholeheartedly support her. The next day, the interview was very successful. Anna plans to recruit new CEO. Before making the official decision, she consulted with Ben. This time, he spoke from his heart. To me it's pretty simple. About the fit needs you and if you don't mind me saying, you need it. That's right, he doesn't approve of hiring a new CEO. Because they worked together early in the evening. Ang da nin thay su niet huyet trong kong viak o ko gai trene. She is very stubborn towards her dream. 
You should feel nothing but great about what you've done. And I'd hate to see you let anyone take that away from you. His words pierced Anna's heart. She has returned to the company, her husband has also come. The two also opened their hearts and expressed their feelings, and the conflict was resolved. Dot. The two of you have also gotten along well again. At this point, Jules has decided not to hire a new CEO. Her husband also fully supports this decision. I feel like no one is worthy to be the CEO of this company. Except for me. At the end of the story, Jules arrived at the park. And share with Ben this good news. Ben doesn't show any surprise while doing Tai Chi. Jules joined the crowd, he immediately told her. There is balance in Tai Chi. Believe that Anna can now find a balance between work and life. Hope the story will spread warmth to everyone too. Hopefully many years later, you can also become a person like Mr. Ben. There are principles and independent preferences. Good at observing but humble. Know how to sympathize and politely cavalier. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye, fellas. I'm going to cook here.